Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today isn't going to be like my normal uploads, as you can probably tell by the title. As most of you know, I live in Florida, and there's a hurricane coming. Um, Hurricane Irma. I've been getting a lot of questions and concerns as far as to why I'm not leaving, and people keep telling me, you know it's a Category 5 hurricane, right? Like, you know this could happen and this could happen. And yes, trust me, I know. I've read all the articles. I've heard about it nonstop since it formed and since it's been a concern in Florida. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and I guess I just wanted to come on here to explain so I don't have to keep, you know, typing the same message over and over again and explaining why I'm not evacuating and why I'm not going to be leaving the state of Florida for this. The main thing is, which I feel like people don't realize, when you have a disaster or like a natural disaster forming like this, you're given such a little amount of time. And now you can argue all you want that, oh, well, you knew about this a week ago or you knew about this weeks ago even, but to pick up everything and leave your home and try to plan everything out in just like a couple of weeks, it's not, <laughs> that's not easy. And not only that, but when you have something like this, it's a storm. It basically has a mind of its own at this point. Um, there's so much uncertainty when it comes to the path that it's going to take. It could go out more east, it could go back out to sea, it could avoid Florida entirely, and to drop, you know, hundreds of hundreds of dollars to just get out, yeah, it would ensure our safety, but some people don't have the kind of money to just drop and leave everything like that. I feel like my points are very scattered, so I'm sorry about that. But even right now, if we decided to leave and money wasn't an object and we were going. There's so many gas shortages at the moment and the highways are just completely backed up. So honestly, even if we wanted to leave, we really can't. <laughs> um, we would basically just be stuck on the freeway, more than likely run out of gas. They've stopped evacuating for the reason of the gas shortages. Now, I've heard that they're sending trucks back in and trying to get that solved, but I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, to get stuck on the highway, to have no gas, get stuck on all the traffic on the highway, only for the storm to come and you be trapped in your car on the highway is not something that I want to do or anyone really wants to do right now. Um, so that's another big issue. Well, last couple of things. Um, I do have a job, as most of you know. I need this job because that's how I pay my bills and survive. Um, and I'm scheduled to work all weekend. And they did pass a law or something in order so if you need a day off or can't come to work because of the hurricane, your job can't fire you. I don't think my job would fire me anyway because I'm good, a good employee and... Um, they appreciate all that I do for them, but, uh, so that's a thing, but I, I still need to get paid <laughs> because I do have, uh, bills to pay and things to take care of that I need money <laughs> in order to do. So yeah, I, I need to work. <laughs> that's another thing. And the last thing is, as most of you know, or some of you may know, we have animals. I currently have two horses, a dog, and a bunch of cats. When we moved down here, we sold everything. Um, we lived in Ohio and we moved from Ohio to Florida. I didn't bring my truck and I didn't bring my horse trailer. Um, we sold that to get the funds to be able to move down here and our whole plan was to buy a new one once we got settled, but that just, we haven't been able to do that just yet. Um, so if we were to evacuate, we couldn't bring the horses. We would have to literally abandon all of our animals, and I just, we don't obviously want to do that. Um, a lot of you have been asking, since I am staying, if worse comes to worse, what will you be doing? And this absolutely breaks my heart, but um, if it were to get bad, 
my mom and I would pack up a suitcase and we would go to the nearest shelter, which would be either the elementary school or the college that is close to us, um, so we could be safe. But in doing so, they don't accept pets, so we would have to leave Bella behind, which is my dog, and all the cats, and obviously the horses, because we can't bring them into a school. Um, so I honestly, at this point, I'm just really hoping it doesn't come to that. Um, a lot of you have been asking what you can do to help, and honestly, just like, pray. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, and if you're not religious, I understand, but pray or send positive vibes to all of Florida because there are so many people that are going to be impacted by this and there's nothing we can do to stop it and we kind of just have to work with what we've got. Um, but my mom and I are prepared. We've got lots of water and are getting, well, we have a bunch of food just in case we're out of power for a little while. Um, so we're as prepared as we can be and we're going to be okay. Um, I have no doubt about that. But yeah, just like I said, just send positive vibes to Florida and keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers. And that's about it. <laughs> that's what I wanted to explain. So hopefully this was able to give you guys a little bit more clarity on my decision and why I not only chose to stay, but I have to stay. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if there's no uploads for a while, then you guys obviously know what happened. We might be out of power for a few days, up to a few weeks. I, I don't really know. There's just, like I said, so much uncertainty at this point. Um, so yeah. Um, I should have a few videos edited and able to upload. Um, so if you see a few uploads after this, then that's great. And if you don't, then you know why. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for listening, and I will see you as soon as I can.